Hi there YouTube and what I've got here is the Apple Power Mac uh, G4 Quicksilver uh, 733 megahertz and uh, what I'm going to be showing you today is how to uh, change or upgrade uh, your CD, DVD or DVD whatever it is inside the, your drive basically and how to change it and upgrade it basically and put in a new one so uh, I've, I've already started off uh, opening the case up as you can see and basically in the G4 Quicksilver is a bit different because what you've got here is four sets of screws you've got one right at the back over there uh, okay and you've got one here where my finger is pointing to and you've got another one in here basically and there's one more which is basically on the side there basically so I've taken that one out and that one and this one and I've left the other one for basically preview purposes so um, we'll start off basically getting this off like so this screw is usually kind of long one and it takes quite a lot of uh, well a little bit of time like so and I rushed it a little bit <laughs> almost lost the screw but it's okay so got that off and then you basically take off the cables at the back or it would be easier just basically just take the whole case off like so and uh, then just take the cables off as I'm holding the camera with one hand it's kind of difficult so I just have to bear with me so take the cables off there you go and there you have that to casing unit for your drives um, what I've got there in there right now is uh, just a basic DVD ROM so I'm going to upgrade it with a combo drive which I've got here and I'm going to stick that in so uh, what you've got here is usually a, a set of four screws just over here so yep yeah, just basically get them off like so pretty boring but it's, uh, it's got to be done for preview information purposes there you go I've, well, I've, well, in my one I've only got two screws but I've taken the other two off just for preview purposes and just get the two actual thing out like so there you go so there you got the actual old drive we don't want that no more and then stick the new drive in pretty simple that goes in just like that jubbly and that's in so just put the screws back in like so let's put this down one second oh. sorry guys yep yeah, just put the screws back in sorry about that and there you go so you've got screws back in, now you've got to do put the cabling back in and yeah, I've, I've basically supported it on there and you've got the power cable and then you've got your IDE or some cool ATA cable and let's get this in there basically like so making sure you line it up how, it, how you basically got it up from before so that's in and then now you just basically put the screws back in and you're sorted so I'm not going to do the TDS one by putting the screws back in that's pretty much a simple job and there you have it uh, on how to basically change your uh, CD, DVD or whatever drive in your Apple Power Mac 
G4 Quicksilver 733 megahertz from Mac. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned and more to come from the Babsway.